buddy. It's been a while since I last recorded. It's because I took a break for Christmas and didn't tell any of you. And then I decided to take a longer break for New Year's. And anyways, I'm finally back home now and I can finally record... And I can finally record a new... Let's Play. I have heard... So many good things about Outer Wilds. And it's DLC, but I... I actually, I haven't heard anything about it's DLC. I just assume it's more of more good stuff. Uh, which I have! You see, it goes to the eyes, right there. Uh... I know... Very little about this game. Uh... I haven't even... Like, at the, at the behest of... I don't know, some comments or whatever I found somewhere? Some streamers or whatever saying, Hey, by the way, if you ever do end up playing Outer Wilds, go in as blind as possible. So that's what I'm doing. This is... Uh... This is, this is, this is me going in as blind as possible. Uh... This game is by Annapurna, which I didn't know. And I've... I looked up some of their other... their other works, and... Yeah, they make some pretty good stuff. Uh, What Remains of Edith Finch. That's a good game. Flower, I remember. I remember that one. Uh, Gorgoa. I was like, I think that was the one? That, like, the really trippy painting-looking th game? Gone Home is a game that I love. Never played it, but I watched the Let's Play of it. Donut County. Don't know it, but I've seen it a lot. Around. Uh, Journey. Uh, the, the Unfinished Swan. I love that as well. Uh, uh, more recently, Stray and, uh, Neon White. So they make, they make some pretty good games. I know, like, what do I know? Uh, it's, this game is about space. And, like, spaceships and doing things related, regarding those two. Ah. What else? What, I... Something about time? Looping, I think I like got vaguely like spoiled on that. I don't know if that's a huge thing. I don't know. And that is legitimately all that I know. I haven't even read like the Steam page of this game. I just like looked at it, bought it, bought the DLC. Okay, I'll play this eventually. And then that and that and now it's eventually. Uh, I already went through the through the options. Also, this game recommended. Uh, to be is recommended to be played with controller. I don't know why. So I, 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 I can reduce frights for Echoes of the Eye. Apparently, that's interesting. I'm not gonna do that, but that's funny. Uh, I guess let's get started. That's enough of me yapping. A uh, new expedition. It's loading. Yeah. Hey. Oh god, I hate moving in first person using a controller. How recommended is using a controller for this? You know what, for the time being, I'm gonna say screw the rules a little bit, I'm just gonna use my mouse and keyboard. Ugh. That's a little bit better. I could roast a marshmallow or doze off. And I have a shadow. I am a physical being. It's confirmed. Uh, I do want to go in here and change uh, the controls. Movement. How do I? What's? Where would? Here it is. Look sensitivity. Let's just bump that a little bit. Said so look sensitivity. Lower sensitivity was on the slower look speed. That is easier to control. I'm a gamer. I know what I can handle. Hey, Slate. How you doing? What if I? Is that like marshmallows in a can? Huh. There's our pilot! Back from your pre-launch camp out under the stars, I see. Yeah. You see a lot with those eyes. So it's launch day, huh? Seems like only yesterday you joined the space program. And suddenly here you are. Even on your first solo voyage. It's incredible how you can talk without moving your lips, Slate. Uh, what do you say? Ready to get this beauty off the ground? It's all fueled up and ready to go. Uh, you're sure you fixed the retro rockets? That was only a problem one time, and then maybe a few times after that. But hey, no reason to dwell on the past, right? Anyway, 
You'll need to get the launch codes from Horn from Hornfell's the observatory before you can lift off. Just bring those here once you've said your goodbyes or whatever. I'm gonna roast a marshmallow. Ooh. <laughs> marshmallow roasting gameplay. Whoa! Whoops. <laughs> That's hold on. That's just completely blackened. I now have a weapon. I no longer have a weapon. That's still just completely black. Oh, whatever. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, I, I, I have to charge up my jump. Alright, the music is a little too loud for me right now. It's very beautiful, but it's a little too loud for me. Uh, music. That one. Sure. Sure. Uh, requires launch codes. Right, right, right. Let's... let's get going. Yeah. I cannot crouch. I don't know if I can yet, or I just don't know the button. Or I can at all. Oh, hey, Mika. Hey, it's you! Slate said you're blasting off in your ship today. I'm really excited to see the launch. Aren't you gonna go into space, aren't you? You better not have changed your mind. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> oh man, your voice sucks. <laughs> uh, I, I hear you and Slate beefed up the model ship. Can I see it? Yeah, we recalibrated the controls and installed better thrusters. Want to give it a test drive? Slate says it's just like the real thing. De death is descending upon our world. Oh no, it's just a cloud or something. Slate says it was just like the real thing, only less likely to start a fire. Try to land on one of those geyser pools. Show me what you've got! Is this that? This is that. Uh, cue to leave. Nope, that's not it. Horizontal thrusters, up and down thrust. Yeah, I think I broke your ship, kid. I, uh, I gotta go. Oh, fine, let's... This is not <laughs> okay. I think I knew. I think I know what they mean by use controller now. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> well, no, nope, I'm gonna do it. Wait, hold on. Almost got him. Whoever that person is. Made it. There we go. It's 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 not like pilots. It's less like piloting a ship and more like golf. Where you just like hit like blasted off a couple times at the beginning, and then I don't know how to play golf. I'm gonna land it in here. Nope. Okay. Made it. It's a real spaceship now. Whoops. That's pretty cool. Anything else to say? Wow! That was just like the time the external field tanks exploded on re-entry. You'll... You'll be okay flying the big one, right? Well, according to what I just did, uh, yeah. I just... I just compared flying a ship to golf, so I... I, I think I'm pretty ready. Oh, the lights are on, and it's also nighttime. I think somebody just shot a gun at that moon. Also, the planet we are on is spinning. That's trippy. Hold on, I have an idea. What is this? No, it's nothing. I wanna. Uh, 
Nope. I want to touch it when I'm down there. Uh, can I leave that? Nope. I, I have to reset it, huh? I can't leave. Alright, fine. I want to see if I can touch it. Howdy, Porphy. Hey, yo, hatchling. I hear you're leaving it. Uh, Sorry, there's a very loud geyser in my ear. There's a very loud... Uh, what? You're leaving us to seek adventure amongst the stars. When you return, let's, you, me, and Gosen head uh, open up a bottle of the good stuff. Capital letters. Uh, yeah? <laughs> I'm only seeking adventure amongst one star. Actually, other stars are too far away. It's very loud, guys. Well, another metaphor ruined in the name of scientific accuracy. You know me, I hate metaphors. Nevertheless, I hope you do enjoy your travels. Good luck. I hope you enjoy, enjoy your... Dark juice. Is that Dr. Pepper? Oh, is that the good stuff? You're allowed. I'm turning you down. Uh, sound effects? Sure. I guess you're a sound effect. I don't know how loud it is for you. I have the game turned down a little bit on your side. Also, I did get myself a new microphone. If you, uh... If, you, if you've been around a while, I got myself a new, uh... Microphone. Should be better. Oh, there's a lot of people over here. Are there? No, there's just a lot of stuff. Hey there, Rutile. Uh, you're actually blasting off in that thing, huh? I'm told my odds of survival are statistically quite high. Did you see my golfing skills using that toy? Up there? I'm fine. Yeah, the space program certainly come a long way. But I should probably thank you for causing fewer flash fires than your predecessors. By the way, good luck in those retro rockets. Yeah, good luck to you and your... rocking chair in the dirt. This projector is linked to our sky shutter set. Whoa! Hold on, was that... Was that just my headphones messing up, or was that, like, my audio in general messing up? I guess we'll find out later. It sounded really, like, crackly there, like something went wrong. Uh, we'll find out eventually. Once I watch this episode back. I'm not gonna watch it back. Uh, this projector is linked to our Sky Shutter satellite, which is currently orbiting Timber Hearth. Timber Hearth. Hearth? Hearth. The satellite is equipped with two onboard cameras. See if you can take a sh snapshot of our village. Uh... I see. Did it. Alright, but is there anything else on this? There is something else. What are you? Well, there's a path leading to it, so I'm gonna find out. Oh, look, you're gonna crash into the mountain. Ooh, I can... Hello. Geysers. There's some paths leading up to those geysers, mountains, whatever. And we're back at the village. Neat! Oh, it's daytime again. Ow. Uh. <clears throat> the pilot seat used by pioneering astronaut Feldspar is all that remains of our inaugural flight into space. Oh. Although it's been argued such a distinction requires breathtaking a liberal definition of flight, that day will nevertheless always be remembered as a landmark achievement in Harthian history. Wow. That's incredible. Uh... Okay. Alright. Uh-huh. Alright. Okay, I think I got the gist of everything that's at- Ooh! Is this just a cloth wall? That's just a cloth wall.
Oh. It's not very deep. Yeah. Hello there, Marl. So it's launch day, huh? I was gonna miss you. <coughs> oh man. I haven't spoken in such a long time. I was thinking about it, and the platform those launch ships just from from is getting old, isn't it? Old. Isn't it about time you built a new, less flammable one? I don't know, you're the dude with the axe. That big tree in the village would just be the perfect choice. I wouldn't mind helping out the space program. Just say the word. The launch plan is flammable! Huh, you didn't realize that? Don't worry, it's held up for all the launches so far. It'll definitely be fine for yours. Probably. I'm Marl. There is no way this this is spinning from just this tiny amount of water. I'm leaving. I don't want to. I don't want to go into space. I want to. I want to leave. Hold on. Can I just leave? Maybe. It's night time again. I think the apocalypse is happening up above us. Eh, I'll deal with that later. Yep. I just slammed myself against the wall. I do like the jumping in this game. It's all like Baptiste's jump from uh, Overwatch, if you know. Ah, it was over there. Alright. What happens if we get geysered? Come on, come on. Damn it. Oh. And that's my let's play of this game. <laughs> what did you think, everybody? I, uh. Yeah, that's just straight up showing the credits, huh? That's. I feel like I. I feel like I should have known this would happen. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, did he just climb into that geyser and then die? Wasn't he supposed to launch today? Today was launch day. Well, well it was it was launch day two days ago. Days are very short here on this planet, but you get the idea. Hey, could somebody go check on him? He just climbed into a. Kaiser and died after 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 saying he was going to golf his spaceship. Uh, fig. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna let this I'm just gonna let this play out. This is this is my punishment for trying to have fun. This is just the game trying to make sure that I don't have fun and don't explore. <coughs> ah, talking after talking so much after not talking for so long really makes my throat hurt. Ah. Really makes you realize uh, with the with the crickets in the background, just uh. <laughs> Thank you for making it. All right, where are you gonna put me back? Uh, straight at the main menu. Huh? See, this is what, this is what uh, that's what popped up when I originally launched this game. Do I have to, do I have to restart the entire thing? Is it permadeath? <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. What is that? I just launched us something that way. It was... It kind of looks like a spaceship that launched something that way and then it exploded. You would not believe the dream I just had, Slate. Uh, all systems go. Glad you're excited. But remember, if you wreck the ship, I'm not building you a new one. I'm not made of lightweight re-entry grade aluminum alloys, you know. Why not? Launch road from Hornfells at the Academy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Academy? Observatory. Speed run. Oh, wait, hold on. If I, like... 
If I like bang my legs while I'm jumping, I like kind of tilt the camera. Hold on. Nope. Can I like? Uh, hmm. <laughs> Made it. Alright, don't climb in the geyser. Why are there a bunch of fish hanging up outside your house? That isn't my house. Nice. Hello there, Space Cadet. I hear you're leaving the crater today. I assume you're old. Because you're sitting in a rocking chair. If you meet any of the other travelers up here, remind them to take proper care of their instruments, won't you? Wow, your plane just got suddenly got a lot better. That's incredible. Tell me about the other travelers' instruments, also. Oh, sure. I made all their instruments, you know. Let's see. There's Church's drum, Rybeck's banjo, 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 however you youngsters say it, and then Cabro's flute, and Feldspar's harmonica, of course. Though no, Feldspar's been missing for a long time. Sometimes it feels like just yesterday they were playing their harmonica around the campfire. Anyway, if you hear music in space, that'll be one of the space program's other travelers. If you feel like company, you can always pull out your signal scope and track them down. Uh, yeah, I would, Grandma. Uh, but Trisound doesn't travel in space, so... <clears throat> That's very pretty. Music. Still a little bit loud. Did you? Hold on, I'm just gonna lower it all a little bit. A little bit. You there, Galena and Tefra, with your radios. Oh, hello, Astrolot. Well, <laughs> if, if it isn't my favorite troublemaker. Uh, what was your name again? So we wanted to play hide and seek, but Moraine won't let us borrow their signal scope because it's really delicate and not supposed to be thrown around like that. I like your hat. Can I have it? Really, hey, can we use your signal scope? Can we? Can we please? We'll even let you be it. <laughs> That's the thing. I've always been it. Sure, let's play. Woohoo! Okay, here are the rules. Galita and me will hide with these radios. And you'll use your signal scope to find us. Last one to be found wins. Okay, close your eyes and start counting. I close my eyes and start counting. <laughs> uh, frequency. Hide and seek. Ooh. I have a sniper. So what's this thing? Really, kid? Really, other kid? Well, this is actually really neat, though. Let's... I'm gonna find you first, because I can literally see you. It's very loud back here. Oh, you found me? But my hiding spot was super good. Don't forget you're gonna have to find us both, okay? Yeah, I got you. It's very loud. Ugh. I don't know if that's gonna be very loud for you guys. I don't know how loud that's gonna be for you guys, but for me, it was very loud. And how do I get up to you? I see. Why do I climb on your roof? I'm gonna. Hey there. Is he fishing? Like next to a waterfall? That doesn't seem... Yo. And then I assassinate you using my powers. I won. I'm happy. Thanks for playing with us. Yeah. Thank you for giving me a tutorial. Now where can I get from here? Just 
be careful because I can die apparently if I fall from too high. I could get back up here. I don't need to explore right now. Let's let's, let's continue on. Hold on. <laughs> I just have an idea. This game is going to take literal forever for me to play. Yeah, I haven't talked to you in this lifespan, have I? Wow! Go! Be free! That's incredible, actually. And... It's still going up. I stopped hitting the button. And it's still going up. And it's still going up. Hit that planet. Hit that planet. And I can... Oh, I can still see it. It's just barely a speck, a speck on my monitor. And it's back. So that's, very, that's a very powerful ship, kid. All right, let's go. Let's continue forthward. Frequency, Outer Wild Ventures. What am I? What? Okay. Guess I'll find out what that does. Is later. Yo there, Fisher guy. Spinel. That's an awful lot of water for an awful not a lot of water. Hey. Fishing rhyme, fishing rhyme. Singing helps me pass the time. You're leaving the crater? Guess we'll be a little busier without you in the hand. The big water planet. Giant steep. That's where I'd go. Why? One time, after the rest of the village had left to sleep, and it was just the two of us sitting around the campfire, Gabriel told me about their first trip to Giant's Deep. They landed their ship easily enough in, it, in the waves, but couldn't see too far down on account of how murky the water was, I guess. Too dark. Gabriel wants to see what lay beneath the surface, so they decided to travel deeper. They traveled down and down. But suddenly, Gabriel couldn't go any further. Tell me more. Thy will. Thy was just pausing dramatically. As though exercising a will of its own, the water was refusing to let Gabro go any deeper. It held Gabro back, almost as if it were trying to protect him from something. And then, in the horrible darkness, Gabro saw it. <coughs> My voice is dying. The tentacle of some hideous beast. Ah! I mean, that's what Gabro said anyway. Whatever it was, it freaked Gabro out pretty good. Everyone wants to hear new stories at the village campfire, you know. Make sure you bring some back with you. Well, this one time, in a dream, you might say, I climbed into that geyser and died. Probably get better at storytelling, but that's the, the gist of it. Uh, the Zero-G cave in the observatory. You can leave, you know, you're not... Hot loud! So loud. I like. All right, now I can hear myself think a little bit. That's very clear water. And a very rickety and sideways uh, bridge. Man, I, this is just a comfy feeling right now. I, I'm liking this. Hello? Oh. What are you doing, kid? Arc Rose? 
So I'm not, I'm not, I'm not up, I'm up on my uh, geologies. But I think everybody here is named after a type of rock. I know Nice is a type of rock. Arcrose, I think, brings us something, something, something. Arcrose. Die, astronaut! You know the patch of ghost batter inside this fence? Uh, yeah. Ghosts said it used to be bigger when they were a, were a hatchling. Oh, yeah. Because ghost batter evaporates. Sure. Just take a sh just took a super long time to go away. I hope there's still ghost matter in the village when I grow up. Growing up, ghost matter is awesome. Uh, you know, ghost matter is how a tech guy lost their foot, right? Tech tight. Whoa, really? That is so cool. Yeah, can I try? <clears throat> Danger. Inside this fence is a pocket of ghost matter. A strange and dangerous substance. A strangerous substance. What's that's invisible to the naked eye. The good news is that you can detect ghost matter with a camera. Moving through ghost matter is uniquely painful and will probably kill you. Don't complain to me if it if you go hurting yourself fooling around. Horn This is the most Wooden and high-tech camera I've ever seen. I take a picture. Oh my god. Ghost matter. Just making sure that there's no ghosts around us right now. Alright. That's pretty neat. What's up here? Uh, I saw smoke coming from Young Bark Crater up north and figured I, I should go check it out. You could use this scout launcher. Just please don't break while I'm gone, tech type. I'm gonna. Scout launcher? Oh, there's so many words up here. East. No, my ruins. Huh. South. Quantum Grove Crater. Those are words. Northwest. Geyser Mountains. I think I saw those. In fact, is that the, uh... Is that the satellite that was taking pictures? And is that the planet from the intro? Oh. No. Maybe. From the intro, not the, uh, the main menu. I don't know. That, that had a lot of trees on it, and that looks like it has trees. This is really neat. Geyser Mountains. Yeah, I, I think I saw those on the... Satellite. Young Bark Crater. What does this do? Put away aim launcher launch scout. <laughs> I see. Well, it looks like somebody's charging up a. Uh... Looks like somebody was charging up like a giant like ball of energy right there, and is going to use it to do, like defeat Freezer or something. Welcome back. Uh, all right, let's, where do we want to go? Hold on. Where did they say they were going? Young Bart Crater, let's see what, let's see what they are looking at. Uh. <laughs> right, they say they saw smoke coming from it and that looks like smoke. Uh, let's take a look at the mountains now, I guess. I try and want to try and blast it into that geyser. In fact, that's what I'm going to do. Yep, them's are mountains. Alright, next time that geyser blasts, I'm going to launch it into it. See what happens. Maybe get some extra height or something. Or maybe it blows up and kills me. Oh yeah, that's going way up higher. And, but it immediately crashes down lower. Okay. Uh, let me put it away. Also, I don't know if this is... I, I'm currently on FOV 90. I don't know if that's messing with the... Uh, 
Yeah. Because I'm looking at the recording right now, and on the side of the thing, you know, I'm gonna... Just for you guys, I'm gonna lower this, my, my field of view down to like what it was. I'll lower it down to 75. So it, it's still there, but I guess it's less so. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, whatever. Because, because I have like a much bigger, bigger monitor than you're probably watching it on or something. What's over here? You got a gun, kid? Moraine? Uh, oh, hello, astronaut. This is good weather for your launch, right? That's lucky. What are you up to? I'm using my sonoscope to pick up sounds from distant planets. It's set to the Outer Wilds Venture Frequency, so I like to pick up the Traveler's music. Last night I heard Ray Ryback's banjo coming from Brittle Hollow. I hope that means they're safe. I can hear different plans, too. It depends on what time of day or night it is, since different planets are in the sky at different times. Signal scopes are cool. Hey, by the way, you should use your signal scope. Hmm. Oh my god, they're there. That is really cool. I'm dying. Hold on. Ah, okay. Uh, I can also change the frequency. Hide and seek. Okay. I only have two. I only have hide and seek and outer wilds adventures. I don't like this. I don't like the humming from the sun. Oh, it's not from the sun. That's from that thing. Uh, this just did. The sun has a harmonica. Let's get going. Okay. Hey, come say hi to your old flight coach before you launch. I've got zero tra G traded set up if you want a refresher. Gosen. Hey there, Gosen. Hey, I thought I might see you before the big launch. Herbs are getting the better of you. Uh, I'm a little nervous, yeah. Good. Never should be a little bit nervous before going into space. I got cocky during my first flight and nearly put, me, put a new crater in the moon. Still, I was never as green as you. <laughs> That's not what Slate says. Oi, you knew better than to believe a word that lunatic says about me. So I made them install a safety harness in the cockpit. Claimed it would throw off the thrust to weight ratio. Honestly, one of these days I'm going to throw off Slate's thrust to rate ratio. Is that sexual? I feel like it is. So listen up. There's a satellite, which is definitely not just a piece of broken mining equipment set set up down the, the zero-g cave in need of repairs. I think I said every word in that said it's wrong. If you're looking for a little last-minute zero-g practice, head down the lift and into the cave. Or don't, so long as you're confident you can make ship repairs in space. Uh, one repaired satellite coming up. Cool. Get to it and try not to lose, not to concuss yourself right before your first launch. Oh, I know all about concussing myself in zero-g from Prey. This is, this is a pretty bad elevator. For multiple reasons. 